Good morning, welcome back to Daybreak. This is Web Wars where we talk about stories that have been causing a buzz on the internet and I don't do it alone. Uh, today we, we have a panel of one, so it's just the host and one panelist. Me, Sally myself, and I. <laughs> Me, myself and Kadot. Me, myself and Kadot. Me, myself and Kadot, yes. Well, well, how are you doing? I'm fine, yourself? How's radio? Good. I, I, I just I just pulled you out of Jeff's show, literally. Yes, yeah, literally. You As do a usual. Prayer. Yeah, prayer and then there's newspaper review and interviews on Friday. Uh -huh. So yeah. Oh anyway, that that's interesting, interesting, interesting. And thank mm -hmm. you for always coming through. Can now let's 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 go through what the internets have been talking about. Now this this story is Come funny, on. it's been going on for a couple <laughs> of weeks. Uh, but let's let's talk about it because it's it's Finally, worth it. yes, it's, it is worth it. Yes, there's a lot of hype around this. Yeah. Okay. So popular social media comedian Terence Creative and his wife have been a topic of conversation across the interwebs this week in a messy story that involves cheating the person who he cheated with. Now, the story started when his wife shared indecent pictures of her husband's alleged mistress, threatening to release even more damning pictures and videos. Later, Terence admitted that he was cheating on his wife with a girl by the name Anita Soena. Now, drama was unfolding on the internet after Terence decided to share or to issue a public apology. Uh, this is his Instagram where he issued a public apology to his wife and shared a very long video over there with uh, some background tarab music <laughs> of how he loves his wife. His wife. And uh, he blamed Satan for what happened and later in the week the girl in the middle of this controversy Anita Soina also released her side of the story in an interview with YouTuber Edgar Obare uh, BNN for those of you who follow his YouTube where he claimed that Terence's wife knew about her husband's relationship with her and it's, it has been going on for a while so I feel like we have been involved in this story involuntarily Too but now much. that is now that it is it is upon us it is out here and the internets are discussing I'm this you, what did you make of there's it there's so much that's coming out of this thing you know i actually know i think i know anita soina as a social media influencer oh. and somebody who is champions for environments and stuff and mm -hmm. when i saw her name pop up i was like okay so what is this so what i'm, what I'm just going to say is people keep us away from your bedroom matters and keep us away from your private lives and they keep saying no need to post issues about they oh i mean mom i'm not jealous by the way about guys <laughs> who are married happily married and those who have boyfriends who love them on social media it is okay but it's not okay personally from where i'm sitting it's not okay to always post pictures of your bae whether it's your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or your wife because when things get messy surely it's all out in the public at a reconciliation in a quote i have a question though for you as a woman yeah um because I mean, people have been talking about this on the internet. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, his wife shared photos of Chibi, the, yeah. of the girl mm -hmm. and threatened to even share even more, more nude photos. More, yes. What did you make of that? That's a woman who's angry, and in Eleweka, by the way. You will do that? No, I wouldn't do that. But in LA, rather than going to throw a tantrum at somebody and meeting them in person because they've put all their life on social media, then it's okay for her to share that on social media as a hitting back way to the lady who was cheating. But do you know husband. sharing revenge porn is punishable? By yeah, her. of course. Definitely, she knows, she knows that, Kimani. She knows that. Mm -hmm. The guys who go on murdering their spouses, clandes and stuff, they know that. Yeah. So it's just, so I it's think anger. it's a form. Yeah, it's a anger. It's out expressing. of anger, a way of expressing yourself. Because there are guys mm -hmm. who had really put themselves out there mm -hmm. as this amazing, beautiful couple from Kenya doing amazing things on social media and then amazing things started happening. Amazing. Like in equal ground, we do it different. We do it different, Sana, by the way. I'm going to clap back in the Anita, the alleged side chick, I'm going to make social media. Yes, yes. Coming uh, out and saying, but uh, your wife is aware of this. 20 minutes thing. video on uh, Edgar Bar is YouTube on uh, talking about the, the relationship and it's like what a new phenomenon her. now. Yeah, and mistress. it has traction. A lot of people <laughs> watching it had like a, a ten thousand views in a few hours. I can't even because you want to know the juicy story. As in, you're confidently coming out and saying, "By the way, I'm Kimani's side chick. I know he's married. I thought the wife was aware. Well, What's the problem? Actually, that's not true. I do not have a wife. No, I'm just no, no, no. I'm just using. <laughs> Come on. Let's just make let's just make this clear. Let, let's stick to the script then. Okay. All right, all right. 
All right, let's move on to another story that has, uh, you know, it's a good, this is a good story. This one made me happy. Babu Wino has vowed to pay school fees for a multimedia university student who dropped out of school to become a watchman due to lack of school fees. Cosmos Mutua reportedly left his studies at multimedia university and went to work as a security guard in Mombasa. There he is. Now, Mutua... The MMU student first hit headlines that uh, when Babu Wino shared that picture you're seeing on your screen, asking uh, about his whereabouts, and uh, you know he wanted to seek him and get him and pay school fees for him. He updated his follow uh, to his followers this week that he had found Cosmos. There he is, and he will sponsor his education until he graduates. Well, I'm just praying he's going to actually follow it up till the end. It's actually very good news. I need to commend him for that, for coming out publicly and saying that he's going to support this young man. But I hope see Porojo too. You know, you are, mm. Our politicians love to do this at funerals, when you have catastrophes, accidents and stuff. And I will do this and that. And then three months down the line, one month down the line, there's nothing to show, you know. So I hope he's going to take this, you know, till the end. The way Governor Sonko took up Satrin. You remember baby Satrin? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Mombasa, yes, and yes. he's basically we know him as an adopted son of the of the governor. Mm, so I mm. hope he's gonna take this till the end. Babu, we know usijaribu kutoka kwa yobasi. Ukiruka chini tunakurudisha by force because you promised to do that. But good job. And this is yeah, this is a good story actually. And 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 it's commendable. I, and, and a lot of people were commending him on uh, on the especially on, the, on Facebook. Citizen TV shared mm -hmm. this story, mm -hmm. and a lot of people were touched by it. I yes. could see the traction, and a lot of people were like there. But then it also speaks to the um, the issue of joblessness and how I, I like the way he was not um, too proud to not take any job ever because he went to university. He and was like, I'm going to work as a security go wrong, guard. By the way, you know, as the youth, you want to choose a job. It's, you, you can never get somewhere if you're choosing something to do. That humble beginning is what is going to open for your path. So I commend the young man for multimedia. Yo, kazi ya watchman, kuza sweetie, apo. Uju, unapiga story na nani, by the way. Mm. Eh, might be your next boss. Well, Cosmos Mutua, all the best to him. And thank you to Babu Wino for doing yeah. this. The internet or the web is very happy about this. We're uh, keeping track, though. <laughs> Just note that. Yes, we will. We will hold you accountable, <laughs> Babu, if you don't do this. All right, let's go to another story. This is funny, by the way. Uh -huh. Tanzanian authorities have asked Bongo comedian and Big Brother star Idris Sultan to present himself to a police station or to get a statement as to regarding to this picture. So this is what Idris did. He took a picture of Magufuli and photoshopped it on his face. <laughs> and there you see it. Uh, alisema, kwa siku moja tutabadilishana kazi ili uenjoy birthday yako kwa amani. So he was wishing Magufuli yeah. a happy birthday. And one of the, uh, the some of the authorities in Tanzania decided, you know what, why are you, uh, are you threatening our president? Are the authorities in Tanzania so <laughs> idle? I'm actually not sure coming from Tanzania, you know, Uncle Pombe, Uncle John Pombe Magufuli's country. They're always so quick to react to these things. As in, you could not be full of satire in Tanzania. I don't Their know stars why. are really under scrutiny. Yeah, Diamond has much. had an ending legal problem. I'm sure if it was in our country. Oh, and here it is. This is the Minister of uh, Tourism, Tourism from Tanzania, Dr. Uh, his name? Kwa? Kwa Wangala. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I Kiwangala. Kigwangala. Kigwangala, yes. Kigwangala, Dr. Kigwangala yeah. said that he will pay for Idris's bill in case he was arrested and he would also uh, pay for his legal fees in, in case the Tanzanian government decided to sue him. But d this made me appreciate the kind of freedom we have here in Kenya. Yeah, How many time. memes of Uhuru I Kenyatta know. have we seen and in the actually, last five years? I think even our president will probably made a fan of that, you know. <laughs> Um, you know, he always has, <laughs> carries along those things. You know, we need to appreciate the freedom we have in this country. Right, By the way, right. we need to commend the president for always allowing us to, you know, go make around. Names of him. Make if, names if, of him. If we're not going to remember him for, him for Jala, anything else. President as, Jala. <laughs> we're going to remember him for the memes he's yeah. been supplying. Yeah. And now compare this to Tanzania where you Photoshop. Tanzanian authorities, Germany, Nenei Poli Poli. Well, 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 guys, we have a new segment here on Webboards. We are oh. going to call it Trending Images. So let's see this, some of the images that have been making rounds on the internet. And let's see the first one here, Ibra. We have it? Yes. What does this remind you of? Have you ever used this? Well, 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 well. You're Sabuni Kwanza. And then that Makonge. Do you know what that Kamawe is? 
Yeah, the one for you know you scrub. I'm a singer, you know. Because I'm Gucci, ni. It's like you're dancing some twisty, you know. Una sugua, ni ni. Yeah, shago na beshi ni le. I can hear a lot of people in the gallery going, excited, so excited about it. If you didn't go through that, by the way, you're not. If you don't know what this is, then you're not Kenyan enough. And and here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Look at that picture. What is wrong with that picture? I am trying to figure. I E B C official. No. And a police officer. So a lot of people are confused. Do we have elections in traffic? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to really see. Well. Okay, so guys. So this is a police officer who was wearing an IBC official reflector oh. in traffic. It took you a while to get I that. No, I no I, I cannot see many there. Oh, oh, the, oh the scre- far, our, yeah. our screen here in studio is a bit is a bit far, yeah. but you can see it now. Now I'm getting oh my goodness. Yeah. Chambai, please avail reflectors for your officers <laughs> in the Ibu. <laughs> I will talk on dog. Do the name Bundo Gondogo surely. Me pay a uniform pay pay you are to reflect as a police not this one's for IBC surely no. It is not right. Soon to mona hapo na kitu ya mafuta huko nyuma like some company it's not very is not right like get give them reflectors actual reflectors police reflectors. Right, right. That one has made so this uh, this, one, this one made this me one happy. Made me so happy. Uh if you do not know. Kwanza iki do you know how long it takes to make that thing soft? I know. For you to be able to shower But with it. Can you kishika moja left side? Alafu alafu kutu hapa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You do the thing on the I do your thing. You go to eh eh ni mama ni kaiba na maliza. Alafu ina kwa mguu sasa huko chini. I know right. This this this, this is uh, this is why we love it. That was a good one. This that was a good one I must say. Yeah. Please yeah. keep sharing these images and more. If you see weird things in traffic, send us those things and we will share them here on Webboys. Now this is another favorite part of this uh show. Uh-huh. We play favorite videos. videos. Uh, we, we have a montage of them, then you're gonna t- choose your favorite, and I'm also gonna choose my favorite, but all of them are so good. Watch it. Bangi ni zambi Mlage kabeji Ni wambi I dunia Iliweze Inabidi ufikie uchambe Sana There's just too many of them. Like, can you, do you have a favorite? Are you going to go with a favorite? There's too many of them. You're tearing. Her. I'm tearing, guys. She's crying. <laughs> Sally. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't we love the internet? The Don't guy who was trying internet. to be so bossy. And then this is the friend who shared this okay. montage, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's... There's just too many of them, by the way. Too many of them. Ladies. I don't know. I... I I don't have a favorite today. They are way too They too say good. all of them yes, all of them were yes, good. Yes, yes, especially the guy who was trying to be bossy, you know, with some swag and then Omeanguka, the one who was on the bike, what Omeanguka chini. Oh. This one who's trying to run away from something the dog is after him. What? Una ko na shtulo una gonga basi. Oh, You've got to love the web for sharing this <gasps> Friday thing. Friday, oh, indeed. Stress relief. Friday. I know, right? I know, oh, right? Goodness. I hope that made you a Friday this morning. That is where we close Web Wars today. 
<laughs> Happy new month indeed, people. Happy new month. It's the first wow. of November. Please be good this November. Thank you for watching, my boys. My name is Kimani Bogwa. Sally, I'm Tabi Kadot. Thank you for coming. Always a pleasure. We'll see you again next week here on my boys. Next week, we're going to have an only panel. Stay tuned to know who it's going to be. For now, it's goodbye. Level Up Fridays is on the other side with Roy T-Boy.